I just played one of my songs, and this bird just went, at the end of it, just went, ka, ka, ka. He liked it. What's he liked? <laughs> If you're going to buy a used car any state, California, I think is number one. I see the coolest, like, the coolest used cars and SUVs and, like, best bang for your buck. Like, just people are just have, like, really unique, cool car setups all over the place. <laughs> I see cool cars, like, like, not new cool cars necessarily, like, used like just good like models that last a while. Um, Subarus, Hondas, and like really good uh, SUVs. Those for like cars and like midsize and like really good. I mean they have good SUVs too, but they make good just all type. Those brands make really good, reliable cars for all types of cars, but. SUVs, cars, like if you're gonna buy a used car anywhere, this is probably the state. <laughs> you could drive here and, and probably get a sweet deal if you're like a state that's pretty close. This is American business in a nutshell. I don't I mean this is probably just business in a nutshell. More American business. So I have two insurance companies, two car insurance companies. One personal, one with my job, with immigrants, <coughs> part-time job. Well, I don't know. Like, it might be, I'm going to see. Right now, it's the only job I have. So, fuck. Long story short, American business, right? This is American business. Two insurance companies. I had uh, incidents happen last week where I was working, and... Uh, they're covered through the insurance through my work insurance and I mean either way they both affect if I if I was working then they both affect my insurance both insurances because one's personal one's work um, so yeah so if, if I'm working then both I get affected the insurance that's gonna lose money because my insurance my personal insurance is gonna go up from one of the incidents, that was my fault. Yeah, one of the incidences. Or three. <laughs> one of the incidences, uh, they're, they contacted me like two or three times already. They're gonna they're gonna make money, so they contacted me. The other insurance that is going to pay me for certain damages from other incidences. Uh, they have not contacted me, and I have to contact them. That's American business. I mean, it makes sense. Like, you have staff, they're getting paid hourly. 
if there's incentive to make money, they're going to contact you. But it's just like, that is, that's American. Like, that's, people try to dress it up. People try to, you know, cookie coat it, cookie cut it, whatever you want to call it. Like, make businesses seem like they are there for you. No. They're there to make money. And, like, those kind of actions and stuff like that. I love just, like... Eh, I'm going to call the other insurance company first. Maybe I'll call the other ones tomorrow or the next day. That's how I operate. Uh, telemarketers, you're going to get some annoying. I'm going to fart in your ear. I'm going to ask you some stupid questions. I'm going to, I don't know. You bug me, I'm going to bug you. That's how it works. I don't know how I get into these situations, but I always find a way out. <laughs> I always find, uh, I always lay out my options, and that's where skills are built. But I think part of it is, like, I run on thin margins. I obviously don't make a significant amount of income. And businesses are freaking, like, cutthroat, take advantage uh, fast to act when they can make money and slow to act when they can't. Um, and yeah, like, like literally just don't, like half the time you deal with businesses, probably more than half, like 80% of the time, they don't give a shit about the consumer or the individual. They do when they know someone's watching and it's a part of their, like, business criteria that they're required to do but like beyond that they don't fucking give a fuck cause like I'm in a situation right now where I'm pretty sure the insurance company I mean I reached out to them, to them yesterday but a big issue is like my agent is in Ohio and I'm in California and um I don't know why that's the case but like the library near me doesn't open until like 12 some days and that's already, I don't know, 1 or 2 p.m. in Ohio. And my agent literally stops working at 3 p.m. per his voicemail. Um, so it gives me, like, without power, my battery died. Um, it's pretty much dead. Like, I need a new battery. Um, and in this town that I'm in, in California, there are, th I, I have not seen an external outlet on a single commercial building the entire town. The entire town. You want to like lay out these odds and give me like something that's probably over a million, over like one in a million, for all of these things to like domino into like what they did. Like, uh, what I did was I bought, my fault was I bought things I shouldn't have, but I didn't like save extra money in case things. Like, extra things are wrong. But I also didn't know, like, my insurance situation because Uber doesn't really you sign up. Like, I didn't really take the time to go through and, sh and, like, review how many changes there were since I did it the last time. I just could make money and then went on the road. Um, kind of, like, learn as you go with the insurance as things happen. Um, but, yeah, like, I didn't save up extra money and I... I was careless when I was driving. I got me nice. But like beyond that, uh, I could have called Uber immediately. But like when I dealt with Uber, the processing of everything, you know, then contact the outset progressive the third party, the entire process of that has been pretty bad. Pretty horrible. Like the ball's been dropped like two or three times already. And I've had to pick it back up. I've tried to pick it back up and there's been nobody Nobody, nobody there. There's just been no one else. Um, and, like, it was a holiday weekend, which is pretty crappy odds. You know, Monday, there's nobody available or working. Yesterday, nobody reached out to me. Nobody gave a shit that, like, this affects my job. This affects my ability to make income. Um, somebody was supposed to reach out to me. I, I remember hearing that on the phone. Then I called the person in charge of my claim. I called 
they weren't available today. I called the other person that's their assistant. They were not available today during their business hours. Um, but yeah, I just sat down. I freaking said, all right, what are, what are my, what are my cards? What do I have? Um, I work at Home Depot. I work at Walmart. I'll stock shelves. I walked into like a new restaurant place that was overly crowded, overly busy. Workers look miserable. Uh, not my, oh, my phone just went dark for a second. Oh, I have no, uh, battery life. Can't even see myself right now because my phone just went dark. Um, I'm going to pause this so the video at least saves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go through supply of food that I have in my vehicle. Uh, you know, storage, extra, see what I have, see what I have in terms of finances. Probably apply for those jobs. Really don't expect uh, it taking more than like two days of me actively, proactively reaching out to the individuals getting paid to be in charge of my insurance claim getting paid to handle things and take care of me as a consumer, as a customer, getting paid where I'm literally, their inability to do their job, where they're getting paid, is preventing me from working and getting paid and making money, and I'm the fucking loser. That's, this is where I laugh, and I just focus on running, like, my own businesses and doing things that make me happy. And I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about, like, status. I don't give a fuck about money. I don't give a fuck about all that shit. If I meet a girl that, like, is on the same level as me, understands the same things that I do, um, you know, obviously I wish I was in a position where I was, like, making more money, but I think part of that has nothing to do with me. Part of that has to do with, like, people just being afraid of me and not wanting to be in a position of power. That's not my fault. It's not my fault I'm able to process things like the way I process them and it, and it doesn't sit well with other people and they're offended by it it's not my fault it has nothing to do with it if you really understand things um so yeah whatever I enjoy life uh the way it is even when things are taken from me